Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to jump on and talk about reverse dieting. Things to look at to realize, do I need to do this? Is this something for me? You know, and if you're not sure what a reverse diet is, it's actually just fueling your body correctly to start your metabolism. Now in the 12 week challenge, this is often the first step for a lot of women I work with because we have been told and trained and all of these things that we need to keep cutting, 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 cut calories, cut nutrients. Oh, if you're not eating a calorie deficit, it's not gonna work. And women are like, yeah, I'm doing a calorie deficit. I've been doing a calorie deficit for years and I'm gaining weight while eating less. What the heck? Yeah, then you need to do a reverse diet. So this is something that will take you through in the 12 week challenge. Um, if you are not on the wait list, here is the link in the comments where you can get on the wait list right now. Learn more information and learn more about the 12 week challenge, how to eat for your hormones, your body, your cycle, and really use the right metabolism tactics for the female body, specifically designed for the female body, so that you get to take advantage of your body and hormones versus fighting against it. Now, whew, reverse dieting, a lot of times people will talk about this and really take you through a protocol that's again meant for men. What I'm gonna talk about is really specifically for the female body. So if you're looking for something for a male body, it's not this. <laughs> if you are looking for something for a female body, it's this. <laughs> so reverse dieting is fueling the body correctly. That's the simplest way of, of saying it. But how do you know if this is something you need to do, look into? Again, the number one thing that I notice from women is that they're just, they're still gaining weight or their weight is at least maintaining, right? They're like, well, maybe I'll only gain a pound or two, but I can't lose any weight. I can't even take a half a pound off unless I do something super crazy restrictive. And then they end up, you know, going back to a regular lifestyle, right? Like not even eating bad. And then all of a sudden their weight bounces back up again. And you slowly gain weight over a period of time that's time to do a reverse diet because your body's metabolism has come to a screeching halt. Yes. <sighs> Simplest way to say it. I, when I go through um, jumpstart calls and things like that with women in the 12 week challenge, this is one of the things that we talk about. I want to know about your history. I want to know about your struggles because oftentimes women feel like they're not um, be, being believed, right? When you're like, oh yeah, I, they, I, I'm doing the thing though. I'm really doing the thing. And I'm like, listen, I believe you. I believe that you're doing the thing. You would not be at this point, this frust, um, this frustrated with the process. If you weren't actually doing what you're told to do, you're just following a map that's not made for your body. You're following directions that are made for something else, right? It's like getting something from Ikea, right? You get a really cool desk from Ikea and you're putting this Ikea desk together and you're like, oh great, this is for a bunk bed. The directions are for a bunk bed. Nope. <laughs> it's not helpful, right? That's what we've been following. The second thing that you'll notice is fatigue. A lot of women will just get fatigued, exhausted because they're not fueling their bodies or their systems. Now this can be, I have a hard time waking up. This can be, I'm running out of energy throughout the day and I get fatigued unless I eat something, but I'm worried I'm gonna overeat because I don't wanna eat too many calories, da 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 right? You see how this snowballs throughout the day. So we end up just repeating this vicious cycle every day of waking up without enough fuel in our systems, barely getting enough gas in that gas tank to take us through the day. And we end up at the end of the day, just totally wiped out, physically fatigued, mentally fatigued. And that affects our mood. And then oftentimes I hear women saying, you know, I feel so bad. I end up snapping at my kids at night because I am so worn out and tired. Yeah, that's not you, right? And it's about your mood, it's your body's starving. <laughs> it needs food. The last thing here is about cravings, hunger, binging, things like that. So you should wake up and be hungry in the morning. That's normal. That's normal. If you're waking up and you don't, and you're not hungry and you don't get hungry at all during the day, you may have some issues with leptin, ghrelin, you know, hunger satisfaction, hormones in your body and system. You may have insulin resistance issues, things like that. This is a really big deal. And if you're having cravings come on and off throughout the day because your system is starving, again, your brain uses carbs and sugar. That's what it runs off of, right? And if you're not getting the right nutrients in your body, your brain is gonna be like, ah, oh, warning, warning, feed me. I need to survive and it will force you to eat. So all of a sudden when we talk about binging then, this is where women, it's like your willpower can't do it. You can only have so much willpower throughout the day and then all of a sudden your body takes over it. It's a survival mechanism. And it seems like you wake up in the pantry, you know, eating a bag of chips. 
or crackers or something, right? It, cereal, right? I have done that before. Cereal used to be my go-to and I don't even like cereal that much, but that's what I would find myself eating at the end of the day before bed. That means I didn't fuel properly throughout the day and I'm throwing my system off. So there's a lot of tactics to stop binging, right? And it's not necessarily, oh, try harder. It's, hey, you're, you're starving, right? Your system's metabolism is not working correctly. So what do we need to do to turn that around? Get your body the fuel that it needs so that you don't have hunger at the wrong times, that you have hunger at the right times when you're supposed to be hungry, that cravings go away and that you stop binging just naturally because your body doesn't need it or want it anymore. Yeah, it's way easier to do. And that's part of the reverse diet. And oftentimes this is something that I will take women through again in the 12 week challenge. Um, if you're wondering if this is right for you, again, get on the wait list. That link is in the comments because it can be different for each person. What I do is tailor and tweak everything for you specifically so that you get the best results possible. Now, other information on the female body, eating for your hormones and your cycle is in my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is on Amazon, so you can get a lot of great info here. I also have great info on my podcast, which is The Female Health Solution. Um, so you can get that all places podcast. And then my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. I have a ton of videos here um, just like this that are archived there. So if you found this informational, go to my YouTube channel. You'll see a ton of videos about this where you can get a lot of info. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this helpful, share it with somebody who you know could use this message because so many women don't understand this. And, and that's my mission, just to educate women more on things that you can do naturally to help your body and your hormones. So have a great rest of your night, you guys. Um, happy Mother's Day to all you ladies out there. I, have, I had, well, we'll say it's relaxing day. Uh. <laughs> uh, I got a crown made for me today. I wore it for most of the day. So it was nice. It was made out of like metal wire, so it was a little pokey. <laughs> I did my best with it though. <laughs> anyway, have a great rest of your day, you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions or need any other help. Otherwise, I will see you later.